Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I destroy everything that I touch and trying new styles are a battle for me. So speaking of a battle, we're about to enter the ring for round three. I'm gonna be doing it again, or at least attempt to. That's right, my mortal enemy, Flexi Rods. These guys, they're the bane of my existence. I just can't seem to get them right. The last three times I tried them, they've all been fails. But today, today we're coming back with vengeance. This is our redemption arc, the new world order. And we're gonna see if I can finally take this guy down. So as you can see, I have two different sizes. I have purple and I have this orange one here. So I'm going to be using the purple mostly in the back, I'm thinking, and then the orange somewhere in the front or on the side somewhere didn't get that far yet we'll figure it out as we go along so first things first my hair is washed conditioned detangled deep conditioned and i did a thing you want to know what that thing was if you didn't see it i did a coke rinse that's right i put coca-cola on my hair why because the internet said to do it i'm sorry i'm just so horrible but i really just wanted to try that out see how it worked on my hair plus every video that i saw with naturals doing it they never let it dry they were just like i'm over this the moment they lifted their head out the bowl so i wanted the full experience you know see you might be believing but touching in the flesh now that's an experience so i'm just gonna put my hair up no real parting or anything like that because i'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out or how i'm even going to do this so i feel like having some freedom outside of the clips would be a good idea it's not perfect but it's something and then for like the super short parts of my hair i don't know i'll probably like twist it or something but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so i think i'm gonna start with the left side gonna hit him with some oh okay i'm <laughs> gonna hit him with some water Actually, I think I'm gonna take this guy and I think this will be its own little section. Even though we didn't get that far yet, I'm gonna clip him up so he just stays out of the way. I don't think he'll be able to join the party. There we go. All right, this side is getting in the way. It looks like we're gonna have to tie him up. Just wanted to give him a little bit of moisture. So for my leave-in, I'm just gonna be using the main choice pal because I need something with a lot of slip for this. Cause I'm gonna have to brush him through just to make sure that he's completely detangled. I think that's one of the reasons as to why my flexi rod sets never come out right. Just gonna gently tangle this guy. This stuff smells so good. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. So usually I would go in with a wash and go. However, after putting Coca-Cola on my hair, I don't know if you can handle that. We're in the trenches right now. Not the gulag, so we're doing something okay. But I'm not gonna push it with a gel, or at least a heavy gel. I'm gonna be using some mousse for this, but nothing crazy. Next, I'm going to be using the Curl Stretch Loosening Pudding. Gotta show him some love and get a little bit of moisture and a light hold going. Maybe, just maybe, he can change the tide of this battle. So as lazy as I would love to be, I'm gonna dial it back a little bit and split this section in half. Next, gonna hit it with a lot of body mousse. Ooh, and slippery. I'm just using the coconut shea one. This, he's the goat. It really smells like pure coconut. Really great for washing goes. And as for roller set, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure I've tried it and failed as usual, but that is another battle for another day. I'm just gonna take this guy And wrap them around starting at the ends. I'm just going to keep rolling and rolling. and try and incorporate this guy some way, somehow. And 
Boom. I feel like we're already struggling a little bit here, but it, yeah, yeah, see, see what's happening. Oh, this time it is my fault because I am the reason why my hair is like this. Okay, not perfect. As you can see, it's a little rough in there, but we're just going to keep it rolling. Add a little bit more water. All right, let's try this again. <sighs> Man, this is a lot of work. I'm only two down. Jesus. The little pieces of hair in the back. This guy can't make it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make him a little twist. So hopefully I won't forget, because he is back there, you know. That was a lot of work and I'm only four in Jesus. Why did I decide to do this? So this is where we're at so far. I want to say it feels like it's going to turn out better this time, but knowing my luck, probably not. This guy feels very loose. I could probably add more tension on him, but I'm going to attempt to do this over the rest of my head and come back, I guess. As for, I might give this little guy his own little thing. I don't know, cross that bridge when I get to it. This guy, I'm definitely gonna put in a twist because where's he gonna go? What is he gonna do? And bam, we're back. I'm just taking this little piece of hair. I can't do too much and twisting him up. <sighs> Voila, did it finally after like two hours. Ridiculous. And I don't even know if I did it well enough or did the thing. It looks and feels like I did the thing. But every time I think I did the thing, something goes awry. So I'm just gonna leave these in for however long it takes to dry, only God knows. I don't wanna go to sleep in these, but only time will tell because it is getting pretty late. And with as wet as these guys are, it might be a while. So I might hit it with the blow dryer and see if that helps. But I'll come back when it's time to take all these guys down. All right, it's judgment day. So it's time to take these out. It is the next day. And I would not wish sleeping on these on my worst enemy, maybe. But this, not a fun experience, not at all. So I'm just, I don't know. I could just start from anywhere. I just start from the front, let's do that. He did a something. Oh, wait, this one isn't completely dry yet, so I'm just roll him back on up here. Act like I didn't see that. Let's try and find a dry one, shall we?
tips are still damp, so I'm gonna just wrap them up. But I'm gonna use a smaller one this time. So I'm gonna hit this with a jar real quick, and then I'm gonna try and continue this because not all of them are dry yet. Not that it will probably make a difference, but I'll give it a shot. All right, let's try this again. Ooh, I am so greasy. I think another mistake using those big purple ones. Probably should have stuck with all orange. Yeah, the orange ones are coming out way better. So let me just swap them. Eh, a little better, but not great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and try and separate. Maybe, just maybe, can make this look less depressing. But uh, we'll see about that one. dryer see if that makes a difference because it did help for some of them it's just some of these guys there's no hope <laughs> Better than my previous ones, still not really a fan, but I'm gonna pick it out and figure out what's happening. But I will say already, out of all the attempts to flexi rod set, this is the best one. All right, so this is the final look. I did stretch it a little bit, especially at my roots because it's a little all over the place. It's still, it's most likely, I don't know what the back looks like. But this is where I'm currently at. I want to like it, but I just can't because I did such a poor job. It clearly comes down to technique and... <sighs> Guys, what are we doing here? What are we doing? So maybe round four will be a bit better, but for what it's worth, it came out way better than the last two times I tried it. So I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back for that. But for once, it's an almost fail. So 0.5 for me and 2.5 for the flexi rods. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.